Chapter 15, The Secret of Personal Power You cannot enjoy your talents until you develop and use them. The man that is active finds life interesting. He enjoys himself where he goes. If he lives in a busy city, he gets pleasure out of being out in the country. At the countryside, he sees the wonders and beauty of nature. When we work, we get more in harmony with the infinite. Try to get joy out of everything you do. Aim to do it the very best you can. If your employer cannot appreciate you, there are others who can. If you complain it is your own fault, you have a remedy at hand. The strong man does not complain, it is the weak one. You can alter your condition in life if you try. Instead of complaining, use this time in doing something. If you carry all your grievances with you, you have no time for pleasure. Instead of complaining of your environment, get busy and change this and improve yourself. To prevent anger. When you feel yourself getting angry at something that has been said to you or begin to feel worried about something, stop and commence to breathe deeply and you will find you can put your mind at ease. You see anger and worry are products of your mind. No one who gets angry and worries can see clearly. The mind becomes blurred. Those who achieve things in life find life worthwhile. Everything you undertake to accomplish is an achievement that brings you satisfaction. Those positions that you are not successful in should spur you to increased effort. The man who has never suffered the bitterness of defeat has never tasted the joy of victory. The following actual experience will illustrate what I mean. Two men experienced a sudden sharp reversal of fortune. One was left with a bare means of living, and the other lost everything. The former turned tail on his troubles and went away into the country where he determined to live on what he had saved out of the wreck. He brooded over this. Misfortune told people he had ruined his health, and a perfectly strong man became a hypochondriac. The other could not have a run away even if he wanted to. He summoned all his fortitude to his aid, all of his optimism, all of his faith, and fortune came tumbling at him at the heels of his troubles. What had seemed a disaster turned out the best thing that could possibly have happened. If he too had run away, he would never have had the fortune and would never have tasted the sweets of snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. Whatever troubles come to you, if you face them with courage, they will pass by as the idle wind and leave behind the prosperity of which they are only the harbinger. Sorrow and disaster come to us all some time in life, but there is just law of compensation. Brightness and happiness often develop from things that at first were gloomy and unpleasant. The opinions of others. What I must do is all that concerns me, not what the people think. Emerson. A great many people are oversensitive to the criticism of the world, but to people that have done the great things have performed their duties in their own way, totally unconscious of others' opinions. They were not affected in the least by flattery or by tuberness. They were guided by their own conscience. What this told them they thought was right. You should be better able to judge yourself than anyone else. They do not know your temperament or mind. You know them better than anyone. You should care nothing for another's praise. You are capable of praising yourself and deciding whether you have accomplished all you should. The people that become depressed, who are continually thinking the world is cruel and unloving, and the ones that know themselves and possibly joy of that ourselves are always failures. Their mind is so full of sadness that peace and love cannot enter. They have not learned that. Out of pity is born love, out of love hope, and from hope life. If it was not for sorrow, we should not appreciate happiness. Serenity. Most people are as changeable as the sea. Whichever way the wave goes, they go. They are very few that stand like a stone wall and never are affected by the storm. You should try more to remain the same throughout the storm. Every little shock leaves its imprint and weakness you just as much. That rock which is continually washed against the sea is in time worn away. By keeping your serenity you will not become weakened by worries or troubles, but you can emerge strengthened and encouraged. Man has gained this mastery by being stronger mentally. The more serenity and the broader you make it, the more you will be able to control the forces that dominate the world, and the less will trouble bother you. There are men that have lost their money and friends, and yet they remain serene and undaunted. Retain your knowledge and your courage, and you will always be rich. If you do not grow richer, you will outgrow poor. No matter what trials you are going through, be brave, cultivate strength, and be thankful for what you have, that your condition is not worse. Let neither troubles nor grief shake your calm or dim your faith. Remember the grumbler and the cowards are the destitute people of the world.